I don't even know if I should really be showing this. I'm a little bit embarrassed. Hello my lovelies and welcome to another video. I'm especially happy when I get this incredible opportunity to vlog from my home for several reasons. One is that I love being at home. I think we've covered that topic already as much as I love to travel, I love to be at home, etc, etc, etc. But also because it's like I get really to chat to you and I get to show you what I'm up to day to day. Another thing is that I get to organize my home. Like so these few days that I spent at home I felt like the weekend was so long because I didn't have to do anything. My mom was here. All we did was like, we had massages, we were watching series, we were eating ice cream and just like talking nonstop basically. So that's quite nice. But what I really wanted to do and what I was really, really looking forward to doing was organizing my wardrobe. I think like it's been very overdue like to get organized my wardrobe. I feel like I haven't really done a full complete job but I did manage to do a lot so I managed to clear out all the shoes and bags and I managed to take like most of the spring summer stuff. Now majority of the like stuff is organized now. Majority of my like living space is organized. I managed to declutter to get rid of all the stuff that I don't need or don't use and that is kind of like resulting in me choosing stuff that I haven't worn for a long time like for example this top just because I actually so since my mom left I sent a lot of the stuff that I don't wear or don't use back home to people that need it more or like for example you know like just getting rid of the stuff even like some of the stuff that I actually really love and enjoy but I'm like someone is going to love it even more I decided to get rid of it so of course I wouldn't be me if I would just get rid of stuff but you know leave the gaps not even gonna discuss that but i actually do have like quite a few new things that you could have seen in the last vlog that i want to put in my wardrobe and i need to unbox and they've been sitting there but i've been waiting for you guys but first things first i want to show you what i've done in my wardrobe i'm not gonna lie like i can always do a better job i'm like perfectionist when it comes to organization and i do think that when it comes to closet organization i always think it can be a little bit better but i've done my best. For the moment, I'm very happy with it. What I love the most is that actually my handbag shelves look much more airy. There's much more to choose from. I'll show it to you. I've kind of like reorganized them. I used to have those top shelves pretty empty and now I've organized it in a different way where I can see better my bags. But the same goes for my shoes. In fact, not only that I've reorganized my shoes, but I even have, hello, some free space. Can we just address that? Like keep in mind that here those are actually actually um, my home slipper so they don't even need to leave there you know what I mean it's just like there's a lot of space I think obviously I'm planning on putting like sandals here my orans and things like that but so far it looks like I could do a bit of shopping one thing that's left to do over here as you guys can see I have almost like too many dresses is there such a thing I don't think so but like a lot of dresses that I need to organize better so that I can see them better I don't like when some of these are like folded halfway and the rest are not over here like look how many empty hands hangers right we've done pretty good then here i also got rid of a lot of shirts i need to organize this so that i can have more space for blazers and skirts um here i think it's pretty reorganized i just think that the prada pink leather coat that i love very 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 much i don't think i'm gonna need it for summer season i've reorganized i even gotten rid of some sunglasses i know shocking if you look at this it also obviously there's never space in my sunglass drawer but it still looks better than what i expected i need to try on sorry about this this is my tiktok uh, filming corner for all of you who are following me on tiktok you know that i folded away some of the knitwear my favorite couch in the whole world um i have some shorts over here these are actually xenia's she changed in my room and she forgot them so we need to bring them to her to seoul because it's her favorite shorts and i put them there so i cannot forget them i need to get rid of some of the jeans i don't think i need this many so i'm gonna do a little like try on session and also the blazers i mean getting rid of blazers is like a mission impossible it's my most important piece of clothing but i do think that not all of these i require for the spring summer season so that's gonna be a little fun project as you can see i already managed to get rid of some of the trousers because i definitely have way too many i've taken away my straw hats and things like that i swapped them around with my wintry ones and yeah i'm just very much looking forward to enjoying all the spring summer stuff okay so if you followed closely my previous vlog you know that there are some things that i want to show you because i don't just get to open these bags 
lives without you guys you guys are my best buddies we need to discuss these things we need to discuss we need to talk we need to see what is out there for us right but other than that you guys know that in month of june we're gonna have a lot of really exciting things happening and one of them is my sister's big birthday so i shopped on Netaporte for both myself and my mother. We decided to get some like cute dresses and things for summer for both me and her, for her and me, it would be grammatically more correct. And actually I haven't unboxed my part. I've only unboxed her part and she's kind of like happily taking them away. And also ordered some stuff for my best friend because she had a birthday. Her and my mom, they have like birthdays day after day. So it was like a lot of unboxing. In fact, as I talk about those, I will be showing you the unboxing itself as well. But I wanted to now finally talk about me. <laughs> Is it uh, that hard? I don't know. Anyway, it sounds like I never talk about me, whereas some of you tell me that all I do is talk about me. But this just comes from like an innocent little place. Okay. Let's start. First things first. So what I was saying is that we have a lot happening, both in May and June. I'm next time going back to Seoul. I know, crazy, crazy, crazy. But I'm going to Seoul in like five days. Wow, it seems quite soon. I'm going back to Seoul in five days time and I'm going for Gucci cruise show. That's very exciting for me because it's the first time I'll ever be attending Gucci cruise show. Then we come back to Italy. I have some things planned work related that I need to figure out how I'm going to do for Cannes Film Festival. Then there is a Louis Vuitton cruise show. So yeah, that's next on my schedule. Then we have like Formula One. We have like a lot of things. And I also wanted to get some new clothes, especially since I emptied others. So starting from the row. Wow, it looks like it's going to be a bit of quiet luxury in this YouTube video this is color navy i would say or is it black i think it's color navy hmm tough call anyway it's like a vest or a waistcoat as you can see from the row but it's a beautiful cotton lined with silk from what i can see and i got size two which i think i'm an american size two i believe so we will try it on so you guys will see i really love to wear something like this with low-waisted pants or jeans or long skirts. In fact, I don't think this is the only one that we're gonna find in this haul. I just really love these because I think this is actually something perfect that you can get as like a quiet luxury type of clothing if you're into this like no logo, simple, but beautiful piece of clothing because you'll be able to wear this throughout the year, whether it's summer, whether it's winter, you can layer it in, in, in colder months and you can wear it as it is in more summery months. And I really like this type of stuff. Another thing that I got is something that you would have seen many times already because I really love it and it's this Gucci blazer. Now I won this blazer in Shanghai on a trip that I took with Gucci but that was a sample that the brand has kindly lent me for the duration of the trip. But your girl she loved it so much. Like I literally remember on the last day that we were, we went to this rooftop. If you guys haven't watched the Shanghai vlog, you should watch it. We were in the rooftop and we were going back to the coat check and I saw this jacket hanging. It was like really, because it was a private party. It was just like there. Anybody could pick their own jacket. And I told the PR team, uh, it's not my jacket, but I want to pick it up because I really like it. So I picked it up, but I paid for it. <laughs> what I really like is that Netaporta actually has such a good selection. At the moment, I was like, I need to stop myself, okay? there was so much good stuff and this i just knew i was gonna love i was like yeah this needs to be mine and because i have certain other pieces that i thought would be so perfect for me i was like i need this as well i really love this jacket i think it's so cool it's so beautiful it goes with so many different things and the thing is i have like saint laurent cropped black blazers but this one just sits so well i'll insert some of the pictures also of me wearing it it's really beautiful and you should check it out before we continue i just wanted to say that all the the pieces that I show you will be linked in the description box below. So if you want to check them, they're all going to be there. You don't need to be like searching or going or anything like that. I always make sure to also update my blog. So if there's like a new in my wardrobe section, which will be updated with all of these links as well. So you can like have a visual little swipe through, you know what I mean? I like to keep things like very easy because when I need some shopping inspiration, which never really happens because it seems like I'm always inspired to shop. I like to see things properly. Okay, let's keep unboxing. I've ordered this quite a while ago. So it's very interesting that I don't even remember what I ordered actually. Okay, next up is a dress from the row, I believe, right? I was very much looking forward to this because you guys know, ever since my trip to Maldives and even before, ever since my birthday, I've been really into these kind of like midi or maxi silky dresses. But I need to check if this one is going to be, hmm, it's size medium and I think I need a small, but could it be one of those that is quite versatile? We're gonna see, I'm gonna try it on and check. What I really love about this dress 
dress is so simple. It's a navy color dress. I really love navy color. Obviously, we're gonna steam it a little bit before I, I try it, I think. But at the back, it's like slightly open back and then it has this straight horizontal strap at the back. Really, really like it. And it's midi length, it's not maxi. So very nice to be worn with like ballerina shoes, with flat shoes, with sandals, with runs, for evening dinners with like a tiny little cardigan over it. Really, really cute and dainty, beautiful, beautiful. The row is just, you guys know what I what I feel about the row. Plus this can go so well. If I like zhuzh it up a bit, like with a denim jacket, like an oversized one in my cargo bag, Chef's kiss. It seems like so far we had like two row and one Gucci piece and there's another Gucci piece coming up. And yeah, you're, you're not gonna be surprised. I don't even know if I should really be showing this. I'm a little bit embarrassed, but that's how much I love my look in Shanghai. I love it so much. I had to purchase this whole look. You know when people are like, oh, but do you really like the looks that you get to wear for the events and things like that? And I'm like, do I really like them? I choose those looks. Like when we go on trips, including like, the fashion shows or trips or things like that and I get to wear the samples that are from the brand, I always choose and approve and try on every single look. It's very important to me that they're like my aesthetic, that I don't look like I borrowed someone's clothes and that's my business, right? Like I strongly believe that. So anyway, long story short is that I have these gorgeous trousers now that I wore in Shanghai. I love them so much that I went out there later after I've already photographed them and worn them and everything and purchased them with my own money because I love them okay so that's it like there's no discount on this okay i bought this like full price and i really really love them because i just think that that's great and like netaport i had them in stock these are very hard to get so if you want to get these trousers go and check the description box below that's where you'll be able to find them i also think that you know like when it comes to in general these straps for example not everybody's gonna love the straps they're removable so you can have a gorgeous like pair of like black trousers you can just like adjust everything the way you kind of like want to wear so you get like a bit of versatility as well in them i personally love them i want to wear it with a blazer and i think like even when i get sick of this i'll just have like a perfect pair of black gucci trousers that are if you ask me forever forever Besides that, I wanted to say that, you know, like I want these on the YouTube in, in that vlog. You've seen it. You've seen it also on Instagram, but there's also like a whole get rest with me on TikTok in case you want to see the look step by step in a way, a little bit more close up situation. So yeah, I talk about this all the time, but like what I really love about net forte is the like incredible delivery system they have. So it's just so brilliant. Like I ordered the gift for my best friend's birthday and I'll show you what it is. Hold on. She's already received it. Okay. I ordered the gift. It's a pair of shoes. She really wanted these Rene Covilla. I've ordered her like something else as well, but this was one of the gifts and she opened it. Shall we insert a little clip? I do. You can open now. <gasps> I did open, open. Wait, it's maybe not the ones you wanted, but it doesn't matter. It's the ones that I wanted for you. <laughs> but maybe these are the ones you wanted. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's a little trickery. Now try on, try on, Yotska. So anyway, very, very exciting times. And then she tried them on and they were too small because, you know, you never know from shoe to shoe. I'll show you which shoes I got. Well, you've already seen it in unboxing, but they're here. So she was leaving the next day and I was like, oh my, we cannot exchange them now because you basically, they're like too small. I can just return them, but like, you know, can you get another... Pair. Yes, you can when you shop on it Porte because I literally like requested a return same evening and the next day she was leaving at like 5 30 p.m. and they arrived at like 1 p.m. or like 11 a.m. something like that. Like it was very, very soon right after because, like in Milan, in London, in New York, in those like bigger cities, and at the Porte actually does same day delivery. Or if you order after like 10 a.m., they order like you, you receive it like next day, which I think is the most incredible, luxurious privilege we can have 
have from an online shopping place, which is like so, it's such a luxury thing to have. And these are the shoes that I got for my best friend's birthday. I will also link them below if you want to get them because you guys know I love the Rene Covilla shoes. I think they are gorgeous. Like in the front, they have this kind of like ombre-ish effect. I mean, she loved them. We got the right pair like right on time and then i'm gonna return this pair because i got her the other pair so how perfect that we could manage everything like i was very 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 happy with that and she was very happy and all together was one big happy story <laughs> if you know what i mean and same goes for like for my mom then when my mom came like i was browsing online with her we ordered her some stuff you know like she already took it with her everybody's happy and you know what nothing is lost or wasted because this is gonna go back and it's all fine and she got the pair she loves so I will not very good stuff now what is in here i am wondering oh the row it says it's a small everyday shoulder black pld <gasps> okay i've been wanting this bag and i ordered it once in february 2022 in two different colors and then filippo was like i don't know i don't know i don't know but i feel like now i really know and i really want this bag so it's a handbag it's very very simple i mean okay talking about quite luxury guys if this is not quite luxury what is and also another thing i have a lot of black bags and i've just cleared out my bag section do i need another black bag probably not do i need this black bag yes i do it's gorgeous back when i got the other black bag i got the one that was also i got the same one i think and i also got it in like minty green color and i was like i don't know which one to keep and then ended up keeping none but now i'm gonna get this one and keep it and love it and wear it it's so beautiful and i love the chicness of this bag i think if you're looking for like a perfect everyday black bag that fits enough that is very chic that doesn't have any logos or isn't like calling out any names this is the bag for you okay here she is she is perfect it's just a gorgeous good quality well-made bag that is not screaming anything except i'm gorgeous you can probably see that it says eip on this and it means kind of like a frequent customer Ooh. okay so i got a few things actually in here they're quite similar i think okay so are you ready i got a pajama that i think is going to be a perfect summer one and it comes in this like gorgeous bag so that when i want to pack i can just pack it in this plus i think i told you this before Filippo loves my stripy pajamas but this one i think is so cute because it's like yellow white shorts look at this how gorgeous for holidays I love this and then the top is like a shirt like a stripy shirt and I, honestly I don't think I have a short sleeve PJs and shorts but this will be very useful for like the trips that are coming I'm gonna put in the wash right away so it's ready for my solo trip when we go to the Louis Vuitton show trip like it's just so ideal when having that around I also got two things that I'm not sure how you guys perceive and how you look at it I got it because I really love lately these sort of like strappy long cotton dresses like when i don't know what i'm gonna wear i just put something like this on in ballerina shoes and it's just so simple and this is from the skims i got a size small i believe because i really wanted to try this dress oh i got a medium in this one okay so it's like i want it to not be too tight and too like whatever but i still wanted it to be gorgeous and easy to wear and to put on and this one is in size small so we're gonna see like white one is size small and olive green is in size medium now there are so many different sizes so many different colors also of this so you can see which one looks better on me for reference i am size uk i'm size 8 french size 36 italian size 40 and i am approximately 174 centimeter tall or like five foot nine there you go i've said it all so you will see what is better a small or a medium okay i will also try and put in all the sizes in the description box below so you guys can kind of take it for reference if it helps when choosing what you're gonna buy and choose and wear okay so we'll see how that looks i know that some people are like quite like they are like oh i don't like skims or whatever but honestly like it's just like a very nice like little basic dress that yeah okay so this I saw, I, I, yeah, I thought this was what it is. This is a new brand on Etaporte, I believe. It's size small, and it, the brand is called Clio Pepiat. It says it's a bridal wear, but I mean, it's not gonna be the first time that I go for like something 
like this it's a white beaded dress and guys can i just say this is the most gorgeous thing that you can imagine hold on look at this it is a fully beaded mini dress look at this beading it is a moon then there's a sun then i am obsessed it reminds me of like 2018 19 dio like sun and moon with maria grazia beading but like at the same time it's so easy and light and probably for the fraction of the price and i just love this for summer more special situations i mean i am obsessed i just need to try it on and see how it fits because i really really truly am like when i saw this i was like add to bag immediately before someone else buys it because i'll be very very unhappy if it sells out and when you go and check out the brand you'll see they have like a lot of they have like beaded corsets they have like maxi dresses that are fully beaded and gorgeous or midi more like but they're just so gorgeous i was like wow currently there's so much mess around me that all i'm gonna say is like thank god filippo is in miami next up ladies and gentlemen a little loewe crop top and it's sleeveless very classic cotton you know like ribbed one with the Loewe anagram here I love the brand I don't think I need to clarify I can wear this even with the Gucci trousers that I've just shown you with like without the straps tuck it in and like uh, the jacket you know it's it's something easy something simple something you just want to you know like wear and enjoy and it's easy now if when you see this you know what it is it is a pair of Elias shoes it also reminds me a little bit every time i see this off who remembers in harry potter when hagrid is the professor of dark oh i read harry potter in serbian so it's always a little bit hard but anyway when hagrid is the professor he teaches from a book that is like angry and is biting and in the end like harry closes it with his like belt and the book looks like this does anybody know what i'm talking about or is it just me the harry potter harry potter fanatic but anyway it's like a letter box it's really special my mom loves my beige alaya shoes that i also got on Netaporte. who remembers them but i decided now to get these I, I might get them as well for my mom because it's like perfect heel size for her as well but i decided to get these these are the like strappy black patent sandals and in the back they have this heel that looks like a pair of legs and not just the legs but i think this is pretty iconic can we just agree wow they're so beautifully made guys like honestly every time i see a pair of lash shoes i'm like how are they made so beautifully this is just gorgeous and it's not too heavy obviously the heel is because it needs to be stable but it's a piece of art i don't even know if i should wear this or i should just like exhibit it in the house so, i know it's shocking that we still didn't make it till the end but here we have another white dress and this is from the row it's off the shoulder jersey so it's a little bit warmer but mm, someone could even get married in this but i think i'm gonna wear this to one of my family gatherings in June. might be too hot for it we'll, we'll see we'll see but it's one of the options it's like full length it's sort of like a boat neck really beautiful it looks like it's well like really beautifully made so we're obviously going to see what it looks like on but with like very special shoes i think this would be gorgeous for what i have in mind i either just think it's like a very beautiful beautiful white dress from the row i got a size small it's very special i just need to try it on to see that i'm not gonna be like boiling hot in that but we'll see anyway next up i have no idea what this is <gasps> guys i you know i had to get it it's the alaya black top yeah yeah so beautiful it's also not quite springy but it is because it's crop top it's just that it's like long sleeves but this with like a skirt or like a pair of trousers this is so beautiful <gasps> and like obviously you can kind of i don't know if you can see here you're gonna have to see this item on otherwise it just doesn't make sense but you're gonna have to see it on i think it's so beautiful and personally i just love it so much this is like one of those things that i have like a ton of kate tops that i have in my wardrobe that you wear over and over and over and you wear with like beautiful jewelry that can really show it off and i told you i've been having like this kind of whole craze jewelry craze kate top didn't i just say something about kate tops yep let's see is it a top oh it looks beautiful 
beautiful yes i know what it is so you will obviously see it's a beautiful body this is something i will wear ten thousand times okay make your notes now so when you see me in this top it's from kate the size that i got is size small this is from netta porte because i get these questions all the time and it's linked below because you will see me in this millions and millions of times in denim with a skirt with a leather skirt with maxi skirt with jeans with leggings okay like with everything it's one of those tops and i love to have lots of cake tops because i need to wear them and also lots of summer round tops and i was so desperate to get this one because i love it so much that i got it in size large but you know what summer round you can't sometimes do that because the truth is they do make their stuff very small and i don't think this is that large to be frank I mean, like Saint Laurent is not the most size inclusive brand, is it? Let's see how it fits. I love a good Saint Laurent top, full stop. But when it's stripy, both Filippo and I are like in love with that. There's more. And I think there's more like top stuff. Now it's so hot in Milan right now that I'm almost thinking like, why did I buy so much knitwear? This is like a Lurexy vibe, but it's a Kate off shoulder, beautiful, sort of like a silver, cooler gray tone knit i personally also need a lot of these type of different tops because very often i want to look very effortlessly casual like where i wear like jeans or trousers but a really beautiful top and i think that always saves every single instance like this is long sleeve so it like you know it works it will work for a lot of different things it will bring you from morning to evening like beautiful dinner events and yeah kate is really forever guys like you know how many times i've worn those kate tops it's not just the saying it's the fact and talking about saint laurent a second ago what have we got here we have another one of those burgundy tops that i am obsessed with i have no idea what this is guys i think it's a top but right now it's tricky so you're gonna see it on and i got a size small i just really love this the saint laurent spring summer collection it's so strong it's such like anthony is just so good at like that i don't know also like the autumn winter that's coming wow. and the last no it's not the last but the last of the top section right i had to get this it's like a nude color my favorite kate top and you know what i even travel in these tops nowadays because i just like to look put together when i'm traveling and i knew that this would be perfect it's size small i had to get this nude color because i think on my skin tone it looks even better than white yeah i do think that like i look better in nude neutral skin tone more than in white i love this and i think it's so beautiful and i think with like a green malachite jewelry or like diamonds oh Oh, love it, 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 love it. I have more, but I have to get up because I literally am surrounded by a mountain of clothes. <sighs> I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Let's see. Okay, remember how at the beginning of this video I told you that the row vest is not going to be the last piece of clothing of the same kind you're gonna see. Well, I got one from one of my favorite brands, The Wardrobe New York City. This one in size small. It's like black color. And you will be able to see side to side comparison between this one and the row. This one, like they're quite similar. This one's a little bit more sturdy. The other one was more soft. But I decided to get this one because I wanted to get a whole set. The whole look. And the look includes the maxi skirt, size small. This is the only maxi skirt that I've gotten that is not in denim and there is not the black Saint Laurent one that I wore several times but I think it's a little bit less elegant the Saint Laurent one that I have is like full 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 length I always wear it with like my biggest platforms I always wear it like for special events with the belt with corsets so far I've never worn it in like a more casual situations and this one I believe I could wear with like ballerinas or even sneakers just gives me that vibe you know and then I also got pants or trousers that are part of the same look in case I do not end up enjoying the skirt I was like I will maybe want to wear this with the trousers and I really really love that so really like this size small as well beautiful trousers probably don't need a pair of black trousers I have about 12 when I was doing the clear route I got rid of 10 that's why I only got 12 but I just wanted to try them maybe they're better than any others and I also got like Netaporte has an incredible beauty section on their website they have like a huge section of rose ink skin enhanced luminous tinted serum and i got the one in shade 80 i really hope this is gonna be my color because i just saw that rosie got an award for this serum and i think 
Oh, I think it's gonna be great. Yeah, it looks beautiful and it is so luminous. I don't think you'll be able to see, maybe yes. But I really guessed my skin color. What am I doing? I don't know, anyway. I got this and I also got a brow gel, I believe, which I always need and I collect. It's a brow sculpt from Refi that I also am wearing right now. Can you see it? So guys, that is it that I got. This video is not ending here. It's just the part where I'm showing you what I got, but... I don't know what to tell you besides let me know what you like from here now I'm gonna tidy this up and I'm gonna start bringing it into my wardrobe organizing it on shelf and then we also need to organize the dresses and things like that and I need to do all of this very soon because Philippe is coming home tomorrow I also wondered when he comes home there's not like a ton of boxes waiting for him in the corridor I want it to be a little bit more like put together I want the home to be welcoming you know is there anything nicer than when you come back from holidays and the home is like in a pristine perfect condition I don't think so so let's tackle this now Okay guys, after that humongous haul, there were like boxes everywhere and I managed to sort it all out. I am loving when there's some flowers in our home. I wanted to show you how far we made it with the clear out and organization. I managed to organize the dresses. I got rid of all the ones that I'm like, they're just not making my heart sing with joy. And these are this is going to be the section of day dresses. It kind of is currently coming up until here and then some summer jackets. I'm gonna understand and figure out if I even wanna keep the summer jackets here. Or it's just gonna be like a lot of dresses. What I'm thinking of doing is, ta-da! So I've swapped around the shorter jackets or like the sort of like designery jackets such as tweed and knit jackets this one's not looking very happy because the shoulders are very big but it's like a cropped jacket so it lives here i put the cropped jackets here because it's way longer and here they were looking a bit squashed so i have less colorful shirts i think i'm gonna put these shirts here where the skirts are and then maybe i'm gonna put these up here so that i can have the skirts here so i'm doing some switching but that's the kind of like part of the spring clear out and why i love doing that is actually because well i got rid of like all the sort of like wintry trousers as well so like i'm organizing all of that stuff organized all of this the drawers are looking very much i would say pretty neat i mean considering how it could be and how it was i think i've done pretty well even with the drawers i can't really say okay here are some of my summer caps hats bigger belts and scarves that are basically uh mainly beach related then in this drawer here we have mainly my kate tops and those type of like knits that i think are spring appropriate but quite i don't know like i quite like them quite, quite nice then i have some of the tops in here oh, too many tops i should probably get rid of some some of the tops but the truth is i really love this drawer there's there's a lot that i wear this is my new Loewe. i already managed to wear it believe it or not i need to figure it out how i'm gonna fold it but not with the left hand so this is where i have some of my like lighter tops you know all those type of like very very cropped ones bits and bobs and then here are my bikinis mainly i need to put this in the bikini drawer it's from one of my bikinis okay i think i've shown you that i have some space in the shoe section i think like even my bags can finally breathe a bit better very happy about that very very happy i have a few actually pairs of shoes on the way so that's okay you know not everything needs to be full i find it that when my wardrobe is a little bit lighter and more airy and when there's more space i feel better i like chill here on my ipad like browsing like pinning stuff and then i can like prepare outfits i have these two mirrors now so there's one in the back one in the front which is going to be perfect for kind of checking out how the pieces look like also from the back i quite like that and also sometimes i look at myself here but other times i like to look at myself here i don't know what to tell you about that it's just like habits and besides that i also have to say that i want to hang these on the wall because this is quite annoying but i need to get someone this mirror is pretty heavy i need to get someone who's gonna come in i actually wanted to get a mirror with all like all the lights around because <sighs> when planning outfits i like to have a lot of light and as much as these wardrobes have a lot of light naturally because of the leds here the light up here is not actually that big i also want to change that light i need recommendations for this room for lights i'm struggling the thing i'm really struggling with a lot is finding the right lights like i don't know why i actually it took me forever to find the right light for the guest bedroom i really like spent the night i finally found it. the electrician is due to come and i'm hoping that i'm soon
soon gonna find the light also for this room like one that is going to look beautiful but is also going to give a lot of light because very often i'm packing here at night like okay like spring summertime now there's more light but in winter i feel like there's not enough light in this room and there's a lot of stuff and it's very important for me to see the colors and textures and outfits and like i can't even like sometimes i feel like i can't even take like a proper mirror selfie which is what i'm packing i like to take like when i plan out an outfit i take a mirror selfie i put that look in the bag and i feel like i don't have enough light so that's the next thing if you guys have any recommendations for the lights for a wardrobe style room please let me know and if you have any idea on how i can kind of add more light to when i'm looking at myself in the mirror let me know that will be it i'm gonna finish like kind of switching and swapping that corner area there but in general i'm just very happy that i managed to this clear out because it was very very much overdue and now i feel like more inspired to grab pieces that i haven't grabbed before so that's it i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it wasn't like too all over the place and let me know if you have any tips for me bye guys